And every day there's a reminder that there's this purpose of art to engage the topics of the world, to try to explain our lived experience, and to connect. Fields of green and skies of blue surround the Skowhegan School of Painting and Sculpture in Somerset County. This oasis is where artists spend nine weeks honing their skills while receiving instruction and technique tips from the five resident faculty artists on staff. There are moments in our artistic careers where process is more important than outcomes or output. Participants who must be 21 years of age work in all sorts of art forms, like photography and ceramics, as well as painting and sculpture. I work primarily in metalworking, but I also work in casting. Here, each artist is provided with their own studio space to work in. Dedicating their attention fully to their practice is the primary offering, or it's the primary learning point. When we're in our outside lives with distractions like even having to grocery shop or do your own dishes, that takes up a lot of time and mental space. So being here, all of that is kind of provided for them. They have no obligations other than thinking and working. Sarah Workna, co-director of the school, says approximately 2,500 artists apply for one of the 65 available spots each summer. One reason the school is so highly sought after is because it's one of the few places that still teaches the ancient form of fresco painting, where paint is applied to wet plaster as that painting is being created. Each year another fresco is added on top of the previous one in the school's fresco barn. It's an amazing display not seen by the public. Things that you can't do outside of here is possible here. However, artists from this school are responsible for the frescoes that can be viewed daily inside the nearby South Solon Meeting House. We're a big force in, in that next generation of artists and makers at all times. In Skowhegan, I'm Jody Hersey for ABC7 and Fox 22 News.